And now, back to the show. Oi, 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 yeah. Hi, Claire. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, not very much. I woke up and then I played Fortnite, and now I'm here. 
Wow. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. How did you get here? Um, By what means, little mouse? Left the window open, I think. Oh, yes, perfect. Such a, such a, such a, such a perfect egress for a little mouse, no? What am I doing right now? It's awfully convenient for me. I don't know. I was sort of having fun with the whole mouse thing. Which I know is <laughs> against the rules, but, it's, you know. We don't have to tell anyone, Claire. It can be our little secret. <laughs> You've no doubt noticed by now that this is not Silent Hill 4 The Room. But it's fine. Don't panic. I'm getting to it. <laughs> you know? I will, I gotta I gotta get at least one I gotta get my dailies in. You know what I, I gotta get my solitaire That's true. dailies. That's true. You gotta practice. Yeah. You know, these fingers don't move like this by accident is all I'm saying. That sounded sexually charged and that was not my intention. <laughs> I meant to, I was sort of saying like a funny, like a funny joke about like how I'm very good at solitaire and not, I like not how I'm like very good at fingering bitches. Because to be honest, it's not one of the skills I focus on particularly hard. You know what I mean? I don't I think, I'm not, I'm not fingering that. very frequently. Rachel, stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Claire, what's your favorite Beatles song? Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I was thinking about fingering. I don't know. I didn't listen to the Beatles <laughs> that much. You're a little, you're a little weirdo. Uh, whose 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 oddness challenges fucking my own. All right. I'm um, I'm glad. I I don't I didn't listen to the Beatles an awful lot. Uh, growing up, and then so you're about I to have like a shit take. John hit you're his about wife, to... so it's like I don't. Oh, I've you're not. Had any interest in you're like way. you're too fucking woke for the Beatles. Is that what I'm hearing right now, Clarabelle? No, I'm sure they make good music. It's fine. A lot of my favorite musicians are horrible people. Yes. Well, <laughs> John Lennon is no happens. exception, of course. Yeah. Uh. Oh, hey. Cool. Two. Three. Two. Ah, two. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that was a good. That was a good little stretch. I, so I do hope you still are hearing the disgusting, nasty Silent Hill noises. I didn't. I'll unmute the stream for a second. I, 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 I. I think I am. <laughs> I love. I love to hear like a smash, of it, like a smash of a big guy's head. You know what I mean. There's like a. Do, yeah. do you ever notice this is? Hey, my hot take of the week is that Silent Hill is not woke. Do you ever notice how how like uh, fat shaming kind of permeates the whole thing? Like I don't know enough about Silent Hill. Oh, you really know what? Say. I didn't know that because I quite like Silent Hill, so I think everyone should know about it. I can respect that. I need a red six. I piece. feel that way about um. Well, I don't need to say it. No, go ahead. Stir up controversy. No, Let's do it. Let's no, get it's canceled. Just Gary's again. Mod again. It's just Gary's mod again. Gary's it's mod is good. Gary's what are you talking mod. about? It's never. It is good, but I don't start fucking talking about it. What do you I'm mean? We can always about talk about, about Gary's mod. Claire, I like you. I have you here because, like, I enjoy spending time with you. <laughs> Claire, I... every time oh, you my... talk about Gary's mod, I'm like, oh, awesome. The little mouse speaks once again of Gary's fanciful mod. How quaint. How, how adorable. How quaint. Ow! Sorry, my rotator cuff just came out of its socket. Um, oh. It's okay. It's just, it just feels like uh, a small amount of pain and not big mode of it. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Mm-hmm. What's this? Okay, eight can go. Oh shit! Where can eight go? Nowhere. Nine. Oh, you're embarrassing me, guys. Um, a red nine can go on the black ten. Black ten, nine, and so we do a purple eight. Yes. Oh man, I'm coming up with new colors for this game. I I got it all wrong. 
I think you know what it is, is that in my brain, I can tell the white balance on my computer is off a little bit. So black looks just the tiniest little bit purple. Um, this is because I'm an autistic genius and I'm attuned to like every data point in the world. As, uh, really? uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, as, 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 as are so many Sherlock Holmeses and, and, mm. uh, you know, other types of, uh, swarthy gentlemen. Hmm. There. You don't have to come with me on Swarthy Gentleman. You can you can speak your <laughs> mind, Claire. I didn't I had no I'd I'd quite like to hear why you take it, I think. I think you know what? I I appreciate that you that about you, that you are always uh super super up to like just hear like a couple funny words in a row, you know what I mean? Well yeah, well the like I don't know. I do have the black. King. There's not a lot else I want to do, just in general. Mm -hmm. Aha! Watch this, Claire. I've Watching. got. I'm getting all the numbers. Every last one. Go on, Claire. Watch this. More than them. All right. Wait a second. What do I do now? Golly gee, uh... Willikers. Oh, there's one more card. What do I do now? Oh, maybe this? Maybe this? No, that's something I can do. That's not really like a, a good move. Well, it's not a bad move, I guess. Yes, sir. Uh, what if I just walk this back until there's a Jack I can put? Yeah, Jack, let's walk that back. What? Wait. What? <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, good, 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 uh, seven, eight, uh, and then you need to be in, you need a nine over, no, you need an eight over here, eight, nine, eight, nine, and then, okay. Watch this. Ba boom. Wait, what? Oh no. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Boom shakalaka. Hell yeah! I got a new card. Apparently, you only get one every day. So that's oh, I see. Dumb. But whatever. Fuck them. They can eat my entire fucking ass if for 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 all I gosh darn fucking care. All right. <laughs> the animation whoa what a cr Ooh. what a crazy transition that was was it that was a i was i, I like did like that. a cool boom, boom, but i i do like that i'm gonna need water at some point or i've got a bottle of it um, bottle. i can email some to you i would love that bottle. if you could all right all right i'm fully the awoken on its way Hell yeah. Um, we're warmed up and we're... We're warmed up, we're ready, ready to, to solve the these... Into fifth gear. Silent Hill puzzles. Oh, uh, can I play? Can I hit play? <laughs> Return from Apartment World. Now, Claire, last time we were in Apartment World, do you remember what we were doing? I don't remember shit from fuck. Um, no, me neither. But, I bet, I bet, I bet I do, actually. Mm -hmm. I just need to figure it out. There were diary scraps, Claire. I think those were critical to the, uh, to the, to the solving of the whole puzzle. Mm. The diary scraps, Claire, that I passed under the doorway. Well, you, you'd better believe they were important to the darn story. I'll keep this in mind. Whoa, where am I? What the fuck? I have no idea what this room is. Huh? Oh, we're in the lobby. This is like a super normal place. I'd hate the hand-drawn maps, also. Why? Give me a map of the whole building. And then, and then, and then we can talk about, uh... Jeez. Okay, I think that I need to get a key for this mailbox. Do you think that's right, Claire? I think 
Um, Wait, no, 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 no. See no. that happen? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. No, 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 no. Claire, how could you be so wrong? I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll try to think more on it next time. Um. I. Well, you know what? Actually, okay, Claire. Can I be honest and vulnerable with you right now? Of course. I didn't. I don't think that I thought of. Um, of of I think that I I I'm not entirely sure. No sound for the game. Damn, bro. For real? It's just it is just a very quiet game. There I can I can I can tell that sound is coming through. But you know what? For you, my beloved, turning that ass the hell up. Uh, six. I thought it was just the the ambient stream. Uh, spooky noises yeah, that no. we have in the background. Do I have spooky noises on in the background? That's fine. Uh, I don't believe so, but I guess the implication was that Silent Hill was completely quiet, mm. and what could be mistaken for Silent Hill noises. I do live in, in a room. sort of Silent Hill-like hell, wherein I'm I'm constantly just like surrounded by bitches. Um, <laughs> all of them, all of them want to get on my dick. It's like, oh man, this is just like Silent Hill. Me and Heather Mason have a lot in common. Um, Heather, I think one of Heather's problems is also that there are sort of metaphorically too many bitches on her dick. And so the bitches need to get off. And one of the ways that she does that. One of these streams you will finish, surely. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. Is that a bicycle over there? No, it's just one wheel of a bicycle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's the frame of the bicycle right here, Clarabelle. So, uh, you know, it's a separate parts of the same bicycle. Have you never seen a, a stolen bicycle before? I am... Um, I've, I've never been privy to such secrets. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Like, where am I actually supposed to be going here? Uh, in Canberra, we have this thing where there's a lot of electric scooters around. And you can hire them by getting an app on your phone. Oh yeah. And just take them around. We've got one of those as well. And it's like they're they're all over the fucking place here. They're like a an invasive species. Uh people like to destroy I, them. Uh <laughs> yeah. in Toronto. I've seen a couple um like I think the the bike hire ones are the ones that people fuck up. I think the scooters are kind of heavy. People just leave them. Mm -hmm. There's a a video online of um, an electric scooter that says, "Please do not shake the scooter, or I will call the police." And there's a dude like just chilling there, like fucking smash it against a wall. What are you gonna do? Call the cops? The cops are gonna come save a scooter. <laughs> I kind of like that video. It's been a while since I've seen Well, it's it. also, if you smash it good enough the first time, it's not going to have the capacity. You got to sneak up on it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. What was that guy doing here? Could he be the next victim or could it be dot dot dot? With this new advanced scooter technology, your ride can also be a knock. Yeah, right? Like, why do I want to be... <laughs> Okay, bro. Like, as soon as someone says to me, like, I'm gonna, I, I would call the cops on you for this reason. I, they're, they're out of the, they're out of the crew. It's like, we don't, <laughs> we don't particularly tolerate that kind of behavior. So I'm not gonna be, sorry, uh, Mr. Fucking uh, Electric Scooter, but I'm not gonna be renting you if it means that, you know, you're <laughs> one bump away from uh, uh, freaking out and having a come to Christ moment and calling the cops on all of us. <laughs> Are you telling me you're a gravel road away from. Fuck you, man. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. Saved my life with a weapon. I wasn't ready for you to go off that out on the scooter. 
Sorry, what? It is just left. I'm fine. I'm okay. Is it me or did it? I don't know here. where. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not I sure what like I'm supposed we to do. always end up here. <laughs> yeah, this is usually where we stop, and then I pick up the game again. And sometimes I have like a burst of inspiration that makes me, you know, do a little dance, get down tonight. But uh, that's exciting. I am. Um... Maybe I could. Do I still have the walkthrough open? I do. It would be weird if you had any tabs from yesterday open. Do you not clean your shit up? I, uh, usually do. I keep a very close eye on, uh, browser stuff because I don't like, uh, my computer having too much shit open. But the problem is, is that everything's a browser now. Like, Discord runs on Chromium, Steam runs on Chromium, fucking Firefox is the only browser that doesn't run on Chromium. And recently, t they turned off the option to control how many threads you had open. So now it, it's shitting up my computer anyway. Fucking sucks. But I do, like, I if it's private tabs, like Windows, oh. I don't usually... I hesitate to comb through them so meticulously. Because sometimes there's porn there that I want to save. I got keys to 105 and 106. I'm going to keep this doll with me, because this seems fun. My GF alone drives me nuts. She keeps every tab open. She has dozens of tabs. I usually have like one. So it does not bother me so much to open a new one that I'm like, hmm, I need to keep that one up. I need to hold I on to that. Have, I usually will have like one tab for browsing YouTube, one tab for Twitter or whatever. And I maybe will open more Twitter tabs if I see cute art that I want to keep up. And I might open more YouTube tabs if I uh, see any cool music that I want to listen to later. Mm. That's kind of how my uh, I see. modus operandum What do you do go. with the art that you like keep for later? Uh, look at it respectfully. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, that's interesting. I've never, I usually I will see art like, one time and be like, yeah, alright. I Move sometimes, on. I have a nice folder full of stuff that I think is cute uh, to look at when I want to, I don't know, feel cozy. It makes me feel warm inside. Can we see but some I of also, Claire's um, cozy pics on the stream? I, <laughs> I don't think I have any open right now, but I, uh... Do you, you said you have a whole folder. I do, but I'm not showing that. This is very personal. Oh. Really? Well, it's... I don't know. It It is too oh, I see. Even I see. though it isn't for probably any onlookers. What I used to do, um, and I should probably start doing again, is when I would play really difficult video games, I would get my laptop and open up uh, this particular GIF of a cat girl with a cute butt that I liked, and I would have it open on my shelf, and whenever I got mad at a video game, I'd look at it. <laughs> and that made me happy. Okay. That's so weird. <laughs> it's a red box. What? I, don't... <laughs> I don't know. The red box it's how stinks. I, uh, Smell bad. How I got through... What is it? Getting Over It by Bennett Foggy. Just red paper. Stick it under room 203's door. Cat girl therapy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My nurse Rachel. Oh my God, this is me. Her change of room uh, 302 together with the part. Her cool. boyfriend tore it off. Oh, By Jove. By Jove. I um. What was I thinking? I got I don't keys. Know. I think if you have trouble playing difficult video games, I think. Uh, being able to look at a beautiful ass at a moment's notice will help. Um, Frogware, as you're in the chat, have you started on that on that ratty yet? <laughs> Probably not, right? But just in case, like you know, maybe that's maybe that's how maybe that'll be one of the strategies for getting through this this m most wretched Silent Hill game. <laughs> I respect that. I found a thing on my chat that is brown and slimy is it okay to oh. be like hot for your own persona or is that cringe and reddit i know i think that's reasonable <laughs> oh man wait this is cool actually 
It's like uh, self love. That's important, I think. Oh, that just did a cool fucking non Euclidean ass trick. I've learned that the thing that was on my chat was no. a bit of chocolate bar. I haven't. Which is awesome. But I could come hang out and call if you want. I'm only free for an hour. Yeah, it's okay. Let's get let's get a frog wires in this biatch. I like that. Frog wires, frog wires. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. What? Bitching. That'll be. It says my darling's number, and there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Do you press those numbers? Sure. What's the thing that's like, um... Oh, I dropped my my seed. I was nibbling on. I, um... I think if you hold shift when you start a Discord call, it rings without ringing. Oh, I see. So just... And that's it. I like that trick a lot, because I get jump scared by the ring a lot. Oh, oh. Fuck. Get your ass on the floor, boy. I'm trying. Oh. oh, not you! <laughs> Hello. Get that ass out on the Hello. floor. Hi, hi, my cheeks are out. Whoa, nice. <laughs> cool. Frog Warriors, can you send us a, a picture? Yeah, I was actually... <laughs> it's embarrassing. I was actually uh, working on one. Like, I was going to redraw an old picture I had because the transparencies were all fucked up. Mm. Oh, um, but let me see if I have anything that'll suffice. Let's see. I I would love to see like, like you know, Twitch safe, but like a hot little picture. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Let's see. It's a little like a like an anime girl with a big butt, except it's a ferret instead. <laughs> let me see. It sucks because um, the one picture I was gonna redraw, it is good. The problem is. Whenever I made it transparent, I didn't keep into account the opacity of the brush that I used. Mm. So it looked fine on the background, and then as soon as I tried to make it like an independent image, it looks like butt ass. Oh, I'm sorry oh. to hear but, that. But it's okay. It's okay now. I'm having... I'm actually enjoying this part of the game. But only because it reminds me of Silent Hill 1. Because it is the apartment building from Silent Hill 1. Mm. So, Ooh. you know... That's pretty neato burrito, I guess. There's a phone ringing somewhere. Not this one. Have you ever... I, I personally don't think I have, but have you ever had any dreams where... or nightmares uh, with, like, a phone ringing in it and you can't find the phone? Uh, like, no. Like, stressful shit like that? I... no, you know what? Hmm. I have phone... I have... I have uh, nightmares where the phone is ringing and I pick it up and there's no one there. Uh, yeah. a lot. But not, uh... I have nightmares where my favorite cartoon characters don't want to be friends with me. Oh my um, god. Well, Rainbow Dash walks up to you and is like, Um, listen, Claire, I like you a lot, but, you know, I did, uh, Pinky is really important to me. And so, if you're gonna be such a bully, then I don't think we can be friends anymore. Genuinely, I had one like when I was three. The one that like this is a, like a story that literally everyone in my family knows because mm -hmm. it's so I iconic to them. Is Thomas the Tank Engine ran away from me in a dream, Aww. and I was utterly distraught. I was it's inconsolable just... for like an entire day. The idea of um, a train being on a track and like hurriedly <laughs> scurrying away. Yeah. Well, that's like, they sort of do do that. They do. Yeah. They hurry. I went to Thomas scurly. the Tank Engine World. I think later that year, and we reconciled. Should it, and that was good. Should we play Silent Hill One? Yeah, why not? Silent Hill One's really good. Wait, you went to like Thomas the Tank Engine World, and you spoke to Thomas? Yeah. I don't remember. I I have one memory of it, which is really Shut sad here. because I actually, I forgot that I went there, and mm. I I wanted to go for so long. I was like, I didn't know if the memory was real or not. And I also just don't have that experience, basically. Mm. I, 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 I'll never know what it's really like. I'll probably never have the money. I remember Thomas the Tank Engine, there was a traveling show that came to Toronto. And, um... Mm. 
Man, that phone is still ringing, huh? Um, and, uh, I have, like, one single frame of memory, uh, from that event, uh, wherein I remember thinking, Thomas the Tank Engine kind of looks like my brother. Uh, and that's, that's the only memory I have from the <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine traveling show. Oh, goodness. Thomas the Tank Engine kind of looks like my dad. Like, only a smidge, though. I have to pull up an image of Thomas now, because y'all are... <laughs> this, um, is, this is horrifying. Hold on. I remember being miserable when I moved from the UK to America, because Thomas the Tank Engine in America has an American accent, and I was fucking <gasps> furious. I was fuming. I wanted to kill things. I've never been that upset. Uh, what was the other thing I was thinking? Oh, yeah, I think my exact first memory that I ever had was eating a bowl of cereal and it was like slow and I was upset that's it I think I was like three yeah I mean I wouldn't expect any really more from a three-year-old than ah, I was like kind of sad that I couldn't eat cereal fast enough it's a I, model it's gun actually, what's your like, fucking problem it's like a core cool memory for me I can eat a cereal bowl in like less than three minutes now I'm extremely that's an acquired hasty. skill it is! I, it took years of fucking training. Uh, and I don't even- I'm not that into cereal anymore. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> Gotta I'm, leave that life behind you. I'm kind of peeved about the- <laughs> the, the modelness of those used to guns. Be. Man, get your ghost ass out of here. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about anything, bro. Did I get a wooden train whistle? I might have. I- Definitely don't have it anymore. Mm. I still have the uh, the plastic recorder that I got from music class in primary school. Oh, fun! The one where they like they engineer it to be as annoying to mm -hmm. the music teacher as possible. Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna oh, fucking die! Any, I'm gonna fucking die! I'm gonna fucking die! I'm gonna fucking die! Sorry. Um. <laughs> I had a really fun memory in music class one time uh, when I was in elementary school, and like the first like Wii music game came out, and we had this really cool teacher who let us play, <laughs> and it, that was the same class we actually did the recorders. Oh, fun! Hell mm. yeah! I like that. Toby, are you happy with your clean blanket now, Mister? You've already pooped on it, I can see. So maybe not. But hey, listen, that's a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a little bugger he's just like i love to poop places it's my it's you know is the implication that he was so upset with it that he pooped on it or that he couldn't be happy with it until he pooped on it uh it's perhaps that he couldn't be happy with it until he pooped on it because he doesn't like the smell of laundry soap i use mm. a scentless soap so uh even that is still a little too much for his little nosy Jump scare. Mm -hmm. uh, I just needed to come back here to heal, to be honest. Because I'm like low on fucking healths. What's in the box? Hey, do you ever uh, do you ever play What's in the Box with your best friend? And, uh, you know, things go crazy? Wait, locker key? Oh, it's a locker key. Okay. I feel like I've had that scenario, but with my own backpack, oh. where I forgot I put food in it. Oh no. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, what have I found? <laughs> the whole culture in my, in, my, in my dirty little backpack. They've started to, like, develop a sea monkey society in there. <laughs> I've had that. That was a fucking poster I remember seeing that was, like, um, the future of um, organic seafood is... Uh, sea monkeys because you can produce like it's the the percentage of r organic sea matter to like the the mass ratio of a sea monkey is actually really efficient and you can get them for super yeah. cheap so there was a post online about people like farming industrial quantities of sea monkeys and selling them nearby like restaurants and stuff i'm on a sea and monkey diet money. when i see a monkey i eat it <laughs> Um, Thank you so much for being so brave.
How would you start with a monkey? Like you say, uh, Elon Musk comes up to you and he says, "Hello, I'm Elon Musk, and I have like I kind think of a I would ball. have to murder Elon Musk." Well, he on says, site. "Do you know what? You can kill me and have all my money if you kill me. I think, oh, thank if God. you or if you eat this gorilla, <laughs> rather." Oh, if I, well, I think the first step would be to make sure it isn't fighting back. Um, no, you. Then, it's you well, get the you. <laughs> I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. You. I think, uh, I don't know a lot about gorillas, and I've only got, like, one real reference point mm -hmm. for how to take one down. So with that in mind, I think I would find a small child willing to go into its enclosure and then let a zookeeper handle it. No, the, the then... gorilla's already dead, sweetie. You don't have to, oh, like, okay. get rid of it on your own. Good, good, good. All right. The Harambe method will will, wow, not have to be incorporated. Wow, <laughs> cool Harambe <laughs> reference, Clara. <laughs> I always I always know that you're just gonna bring the heat to this here stream. <laughs> I don't know. He was just on my mind. I hope he's all right. Well, I know he is. Okay, well, I hope yeah. he's doing. I, I don't know. I have using a better place. In gorilla heaven. He's well. I can't imagine a type of gorilla who would go to hell. He's a silverback sweetheart, you know. I um, think, I think, I think, at the time that uh, the world's biggest liar, Coco the gorilla, uh, passed on into that great beautiful monkey mountain in the sky. Um, I think they had to. Uh, they had a conversation about it, but I'm not certain that any monkeys go to hell. I think I the think the chimps all go to hell. All chimps go to hell. What do you mean they're they chimps? Fucking... Give them a break. They're fuck... Yeah, but they're fucking chimps. They're, they're villains. Gonna... They're villains. Are... <laughs> what do you mean chimps villains? Are they're fucking creatures. Literally regular guys. Like Chimpanzees are fucked. They are fucked. They are so fucked up. They're so normal and regular, actually. I, I can't <laughs> stress this enough. I'm gonna look up chimp crimes just to... I don't oh my god! Extrapolate this to you. You're thinking of like, okay, lot. you get, you hear all of the news about all of the worst chimps, but... Like... Yeah, there was a chimpanzee war, also known as the four-year war, between two communities of... Oh. Like chimpanzees. Okay, okay they were fighting against each other. Yeah. That's still... Like, normal creatures don't... Fucking have wars. Yes, they that's do. Like, Ants have are, wars. That's unique to creatures that have. Ants have wars. Morals. You're wrong. You're. Yeah, but that's because they're like. Oh no, we mixed up each colony's farts, and now we're like not sure where to go or whatever, and they get caught in the death spiral. Oh, okay. The pheromones get mixed up. That's the thing. It's so. It's weird. like that's. But the chimpanzee thing implies a level of intelligence enough to imply morals, like the same way like no creature is. Implicitly evil, except for dolphins and humans, and I guess I'll say chimps. It's like you're just you just want. Oh, it's it, it feels to me like you want to expand the conceptual bounds of of evil, for some like illicit. I feel like it's a slippery slope. If we say chimps are evil, pretty soon like cats and dogs are gonna be evil, and no, but, like, I don't the, care to say that. It's like close enough to humans that they have an intelligence capable of like morals. So, like, in the same way that, like, most animals can't be, like, good or bad, they can only be neutral, because they literally don't have the capacity for higher thought. But the... most chimps have that option, you're, and they consistently You're saying evil. that chimps have, oh like, an, an, uh, an idea of the moral universe, and therefore, uh... Chose evil. Cho are choosing yeah. to be evil. Do you think there are good <laughs> chimps? They're, yeah, they're bonobos. They're wonderful creatures. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I don't. I can't think of a type of monkey news that would make headlines besides chimp violence. Um. Well, there was this thing about like bonobos uh, like learning how to use tools right now. That's an actual species of monkeys that is like doing that, and uh, they've been taught how to use like arcade machines and stuff like that. Like they're pretty intelligent creatures, and chimps are like on a similar level but they just prefer to be evil generally speaking like what do you so sad. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm so I'm so bewildered 
Well, you... What chimp crimes have you personally been a victim of a chimp that would make you feel this goes way? to the moon, man. <laughs> chimp Welcome to Monkey News. Hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry for talking about Harambe. It was my fault. It's you're It was. Crying. You're so right. <laughs> uh... Absolutely incredible. Yeah, they've had like violent conflicts for four entire years. These chimps were fighting. Hold on. Oh man, I have a big tummy ache. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Have you had your food? Is it stress induced by a chimp conversation? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to find like some funny monkey news. Well, I just googled um, chimp crimes, and one of the first thing that comes up is, could anyone beat a chimp in a fight? And it says an unarmed human could not beat a chimpanzee in a fight. So I think... Yeah, fuck me. Chimp, they are evil. I'm, I think... Oh, gonna go away. I think, like, Mike Tyson could. Or, like, yeah. someone who's really good at fighting. In unarmed combat, there's a chance, but it's also, like, they have less inhibitors for personal safety. They're willing to just. Well, Little Mac if, right. beat Donkey Kong in in like <laughs> the canon. So, a monkey cloaked in a tiny Sherling coat was found roaming in IKEA in Toronto ten years ago. I think I could beat a chimp, a chimp if I had a cannon too. There you go. There's some monkey news. That's not about violence. <laughs> It's like uh, he was in the Killing IKEA. With a no, no, no. The IKEA monkey is ten years, ten years old today. He had a birthday. The monkey from IKEA. Like the IKEA. The I monkey from IKEA. Uh, I hope he's doing all right. Oh, I'm sure he's doing great. A me one monkey meatball. <laughs> what do you? Pardon? What? One monkey oh. meatball. One monkey meatball. He deserves it. That's his birthday present. One monkey meatball sounds like a, a like a bad part of town in the DK universe. Like that's a that's like a that's like a that's a fucking trap house. I'm putting you in the monkey meatball. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's, that's the, that's the... I have an artifact I can share with you. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Please do. Um, Actually. if you could direct your attention, to Discord real quick. I drove. Oh my moment. god, it's a monkey. It does something. Hold on, let me look at the... Let me just get a quick... Let me put you in the right place so that we can have this conversation properly. Here we go. Alright. Uh, in you the ready? Discord. Yes. Oh Wait! Oh my god, it's a what? little laser monkey! Alright, we have... A, we have a stream of Frogwire's real life. Find going in the discord and it's an evil monkey with laser eyes evil little fucking villain are they regular laser eyes. eyes or do the blueness make it a different sort of laser it's it's supremely evil like the way that it screams <laughs> is unsettling at best um i wasn't expecting this because my coworker i work at a grocery store and my coworker was giving them he he apparently also works at like a dollar store and he was giving them to our other coworkers based on personality, and apparently I monkey. Um, and <laughs> the other ones were like a duck, and it would quack, or there was like a donkey, and it would uh, he yaw. And then I'm like, monkey! Like, well, he threw it at me, and I said that out loud when I realized what it was, it was, it was coming towards me. And I was prepared to hear like a little ooh-ah-ah, uh, and then it just fucking... <laughs> I had part of the scream, but not all <laughs> It's perfect. It's monkey. No name for this monkey, though. It's very sad. Apparently, That's there's a guy going out. around nowadays. June fifth, twenty twenty three. So that was a couple days ago. There's a guy going around nowadays, giving, giving like special treats to monkeys. Like he's just a he's just a little monkey. He's like oh. when there whenever there's like a wizard in a Swedish town, he's like that, but for monkeys. Monkey friend. So there's some monkey news. His name is hmm. uh, Abdul Abdul Rah Abdul Mr. Mr. Manik. I apologize for b butchering your name. Um, also known as D Tim, has spent years saving monkeys from marginal lives on the side of roads where they forage for food and risk being struck by passing vehicles. Manik's <laughs> father. I was going to say struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All things. 
throughout Indonesia and parts of Southeast Asia may see monkeys are natural conductors. Uh, thing. Well, you know what? That's that's wonderful, though. You want to see the monkey? Mm. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what, monkeys went to space before people did, so maybe you should just show some fucking respect, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, you know what? God rest poopy Jusel. Is that his name? Well. <laughs> no, that's the name of the one in the TF2 canon. May God rest his little soul. A lot of pe a lot of people like to make fan art of Leica the space dog, but not many people mm. are making monkey fan art. And I think that's 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 a crime. I think a lot of my friends are unsettled by monkeys. Really? Um, yeah. I don't know why. Well, I guess I. They're like. I guess. It, Mm -hmm. Human adjacent enough that it makes them uncomfortable oh. a little bit. This is one of oh. this is one of Mr. Malik's monkeys. Oh, I gotta look at Looking it. Looking at a flower or a fruit. Like he uh, has like he's had a bite out of this fruit, and he's like considering mm. his next bite. <laughs> Contemplative, yeah, like just yeah. thinking, like, hmm, where else can I bite this fruit? See, Claire, this is what I mean: is you you seem to think that monkeys are conniving. And it, I'm not thinking that about all monkeys. I just think chimps, specifically chimpanzees. Well, that was a chimp, ones. and and that chimp had no thoughts but to but to examine closely. The that's not the same. That's a different prank. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure that's a chimp. What did you it's think it was? <laughs> I would look at the source of the photo. It doesn't look like one. It's not. There is a specific genus of chimp that acts like a villain that I'm talking about. It's monkeys. It's monkeys, it's chimps. <laughs> it's they're not the they're same. They're monkey thing. chimps. There's, important... There's oh. distinctions here. I can see Eileen Galvin from here. Pretty sure that's room three oh three. What's she doing in this world? Chat, I'm really glad you encouraged me to show the monkey on stream because I it made me happy too. I'm really glad. I liked seeing that monkey. Would you go to the zoo with me, Claire? I would love to. Claire, if I got if I get if I break into the zoo and we do a special episode where we meet Coco the gorilla, would you be my camera person? I would love to. That sounds like a fun way to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of ways that I'd rather go than dying in a zoo by a trespassing with my good friend Rachel. <laughs> I think that'd make me ever so happy. I think isn't there a, there is a zoo that's closed in San Fran, and uh, they they just left those damn people, monkeys there. They were just people like, go there to smoke and piss in public. Oh, nice! That's what they do now. That's one of my favorite things. Yeah, two of my favorite things actually. The gorilla enclosure. I would love to. I would love to have an enclosure. You know what I mean? Mm. Yes, that's what I, I feel like. The way I've come to view my like the room of my house like it's got a little lock on the door too so i can just be in my enclosure which is very very exciting oh yeah <laughs> it's awesome i've got everything i need i've got a bag of rice cakes i have a chocolate bar if i need it and i have a very cozy bed i think that if aliens wanted to make a human zoo then i wouldn't i wouldn't be too upset i i think uh, i'd be chilling because like we wouldn't yeah, have to work like right no, I don't think so. Uh, no, I, I maybe think they would like they would set up like a demonstration where they would be like, "Look, children, this is how people worked." <laughs> like when they give an they elephant a paintbrush, they, you know. They have something. They have something kind of close to human zoos already. Uh, it's called <laughs> prison. You're, oh, okay, right. wait, no, 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 hey, come on. You're not invited to go in and peruse the prisoners. There's a visitor section. This is what happens if you do Yeah, yeah, because it would be, like, awful and cruel to not let prisoners see their families for, for the entirety of their sentence. Prisons are know, like, sort of de facto awful and cruel. I'm not, I'm not making, uh, mm. you know, fucking equivocations, but still. Like the it's yeah. not the visitor center is not for is not for ogling. <laughs> I do, I suppose you're right. I do know they they do like school excursions to like show people prisons. That's a thing. 
There's no one there. What the fuck? Well, of course there's the no curtain. one there. Oh, wait, you're talking about Silent Hills. Yeah. All right, wait, so this is her... <laughs> there's no one there yet. That's how dark. silent are these hills, actually? Apparently quite That's noisy. What I'm... Bro, Disco Elysium? I love that game. They've got that guy, um, Derek. Lately, she's been bothered by a stalker. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Who, the monkey? No, sorry. I was saying there was a an uh, there's a stalker. Uh, I'm oh, I'm the stalker. I've got like a um. I've got a. There it is again. Silent Hill with the fat fat phobia. Is it? I thought they were just saying she's plump. No. I think that's no 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 no. Silent Hill Silent Hill thinks fat people are scary. Mm, that's disappointing. They mm. over and over again they behave in such a way. Um, that's it. I fell. I, 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 I got even odds on on uh, a, 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 an overweight gentleman coming out of a painting and killing me in the next fifteen oh. seconds. God, I wish that were. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kill me? No. <laughs> that, I, I want someone to come out of a out of a, a picture frame or a portrait in my home and be like, "I'm going to murder you now." You want to? You want your persona to get chalk zoned? Maybe. Maybe. Dark chalk zone. That's Twilight chalk that. zone. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, which apartment is mine? 301. Wait, okay, okay, okay. So where's 301? What does she think of me? Haha. <laughs> what, what about me, though? Where's 301? Man, I'm so dizzy. I think it's actually 302. Hey. I hate the camera in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awful. It's like you go through and then I guess it... Like the direction you're holding just sends you in a different... 105... 301... Oh that's hey, wait, that's me! Oh. I'm the yeah. perverted stalker. Hey, will you get what you deserve? Yeah. Seems like it. Where's, where is my painting? Hang on. I'm gonna go grab a beverage and then also testosterone because I forgot to take Hell that. Hell yeah! Uh, I'll be right back. It's pride. You're it's allowed to take testosterone on stream. 102. <laughs> is it not normally allowed? 204. 204. Toby, did you just pee? On your nice new blanket? You fucking lug head? <laughs> what a silly bunny. A foolish little guy. I was so excited to have clean. Clean sheets. What is this? Okay, I where's me? To clean sheets. I cleaned them recently, but they always feel so soft when I do that. Wait, do I, I need like to it. put the VHS in? Perhaps? What will it show you? Uh, perhaps a, a video from Silent Hill. I'd I like, like that, that she's got it on her kitchen counter, so she can turn it around if she wants to have it in the living room. That's quite art, art, artsy. Mm -hmm. You know, Harry, we wouldn't have to run a... You're not Harry, you're Henry. Nothing changes <laughs> yet. Well, I certainly feel as though this should be the solution to a puzzle, being that, uh... The 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 vo the voice calling goes here. Mm. Good night. If I could sleep, very yes. Uh, Borealis. <laughs> little G mod nerd picks you up and down, shakes you up and down, picks you up and down. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! You know what, lady? I really have had such a day so far that I, I wish... Uh, 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 gosh darn! Wow, okay. Are you guys familiar with the, um... There's a character from, uh... Uh, Half-Life 2 by the name of Father Grigori? Yes. Mm. Uh, in the Ravenholm chapter, you might be familiar. 
I do talk about this a lot because it's... I think it's very funny. In Gary's mod, the category that he's automatically grouped into... Like, there's, there's factions, right? For the NPC spawn thing. Mm -hmm. There's humans and resistance. There is, uh, like, zombies. And there is combine. And there's also just a fourth one for animals, for, like, crows and stuff. Father Grigori, the category that he's grouped into is animals. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, he he's is. in that part of the spawn lists, and when you spawn him in, he has extremely quickly regenerating health, and also just a very high base max HP. Let me get so that Father Grigus. You know what I mean? Kill. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I want. I want. Yes. I want to get that. I want to get that pastor man animal style. You know what I mean? <laughs> Throw it on a raft. Let it swim. Oh. I think he'd be pleased to hear that. <laughs> you go. Oh, ah, it brother. <laughs> he'd be so happy. In, in uh, episode four, they were gonna have him group up with Adrian Shepard from the first game. Oh, fun. And uh, part of the plot was that he was drinking like he was milking head crabs like horseshoe crabs ah. and drinking the, the slime you can drink the slime brother you must drink the slime brother <laughs> snowball the slime into my mouth brother i'm just saying father gregory could hit it animal style and no one would be concerned that's true is there a pack of ciggies on the ground no that was bullets i see it just stupid ass maybe, bullets. Maybe, maybe I should start using some of these. Maybe that would help. I think... Let me get that gun out. Blah, blah. Yeah, it seems like you're holding 12 rounds on you that you just, like, well, like, a lot of rounds, actually. Like a shitload. Like, that's a lot of inventory space. Why do I have such a huge TV? I'm, like, seeing everyone else's TV. I'm thinking. Fuck. Alright, well, like, should I. It's locked. Yeah, I know. So where am I supposed to go? I don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, for real. Me neither. I think that's just... <sighs> We're back here again, you know? Yeah, back in Silent Hill, baby. Yeah. Obi? He's a, he's such a little weirdo. He just lies right on down and goes to bed. <laughs> I do that too. Yeah, that's not that strange. Me too. I um, I had that problem yesterday. I was trying to stay awake and I couldn't do it. But we, I, I feel like, I don't know. You may or may not have mentioned this in stream before also i'm sorry if you hear my budgie in the background that's she... fine we love animals i'm you're, sorry if you hear toby in the background oh. just kidding no, no. oh no <laughs> um <laughs> she hears me talk and then is like oh we're having a conversation mm -hmm. you're talking to me and it's really uh, sweet <laughs> what what do you guys <laughs> talk about uh i tell her that she's a very pretty bird and then i um I don't know, we kind of goof and gaff earlier. I showed her an empty paper towel roll, and she was scared at first, but very curiously perched on it. Um, because I, like, I like spoke into one end of it, and I guess it amplified my voice and made it sound funny. Mm -hmm. And so she was, like, peeking inside. It was very sweet. Oh, yeah. I like that. I, um... I had a friend who ate a whole, uh, like, empty toilet paper roll. Hmm. One time, too, but they did it like a, 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 in in the middle of the school, so it was a little bit stranger. Consumed them? Yeah, like the whole empty mm. roll. I can't even eat. I can't even say shit. I used to like eat paper as a kid. I don't know why. I still do. <laughs> um, I uh, I remember uh my friend getting mad at me because I. I got upset that I threw out a Toblerone box because I wanted to nibble on it. And they were like, what the fuck? And I had to <laughs> be normal. Toblerone's a, a good bit. nibbling texture, though. Mm. It is really, really good. I think Toby might like be dying right before my very eyes at this it. moment, so I'm gonna go pick him up and see if he's okay. Oh, okay. He's just falling he asleep. Right? <laughs> he was literally just asleep. He just, sometimes, okay, sometimes he falls asleep with his eyes open, 
and when he when he when he's very relaxed he breathes very slowly um mm-hmm. and so and so i looked at him and he's splayed out on his side with his eyes wide open and it doesn't look like he's breathing very hard and i was like oh my best friend is about to die Hope you both I, uh, beans. it reminds me of um and then he sits up and honks I, uh, and it's okay my uh grandparents on my mother's side they um Toby. after having i think they had three children in total the their oldest one was my mother and the youngest one was uh my aunt but uh the 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 second child that they got um uh, they were like we want to adopt we want to go to an adoption center and get a child from that and uh that child they adopted is uh also one of my aunts but interestingly uh she does this thing where she sleeps with her eyes open mm. like always mm. and she's got uh hey, like two kids those are my cousins and both of them sleep with their eyes open too which implies it's genetic which is really really interesting well i wouldn't think genetic necessarily because I would think, like, maybe... Well, babies, like, learn a lot of the their behaviors from their mother, like, really early on. So maybe... And, I mean, it's not abnormal to sleep next to your baby if you're a mother. So it's it's true. quite it's quite possible they just learned it. It's true. You ever think about that? I I suppose they're they're very, or perhaps they're uh, descended from bunnies. Maybe so. Oh, right, um... I was going to ask this earlier, but I got off track. Uh, you probably have talked about this before during stream, but how did you, did you name Toby or did Toby, was Toby already named Toby? Well, Toby was named Toby. My Toby was originally my little sister's bunny and she had a hmm. crush on a boy named Toby and that's a rock fact. <laughs> it's a really good bunny name. Um, so, Yeah. Uh, and that's sorry. how he got his name, but he doesn't know his name because... Uh, after he was my sister's bunny, he was my mom's bunny. My mom took him to daycare every year, and they picked a different name for him every year. And so mm. he do, he kind of doesn't understand the concept of names. He kind of he kind of has a little panic attack if I go, Tobo Bloby. <laughs> he like sits up and he's like, what? Um, because that's <laughs> usually like I'm I'm baked when I'm I go to pick him up, and I'm like, ha, it's funny to make funny noises with your mouth, bro. I am so Silent Hill right now. <laughs> She's silent on my kill till I four. I know. I'm so sorry. She's silent in my room until I hill four. What? No, that doesn't. <laughs> it's like he's like. Um, what is it called? Uh. She silently gives me the hill until I'm the room four. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What's up? Go ahead. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, okay, cool. Me neither. Yeah. Dup, dup, dup. I was trying to think of one, but I got as far as she hill, and then <laughs> my brain. So that's where I'm at. She go up my hill while I'm silent in the room. <laughs> or. <laughs> oh man, it's been like two weeks since I had my last shot because um oh excuse me I just uh have recently started going back to work after being on medical leave because I had a hysterectomy mm. and um so I was getting like a temporary disability thing which was pretty neat because I could at least afford my bills mm. uh, but otherwise it was fairly scarce and so there was a period of time where I was like oh I need more um I needed to get another refill from the pharmacy, but I'm not able to. Mm-hmm. But I got paid this past Friday, and it was Ooh. it was it was very nice. But I had to kind of um, lower my dose and kind of spread it out a little bit so that I could uh, not just completely not have testosterone in my body anymore. Mm. Um, <laughs> but I'm at the point now where since I've had that surgery, I think it's kind of okay for me to just take a lower dose in general yeah i don't know it's weird i I don't really have a good gauge on like what dosage does what to my body and like how i feel about it Mm -hmm. enter the hole as long as into the hole 
Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> And and I'm at the point now where as long as I I'm, I'm a fluffy little guy and I look fairly pretty, that's that's basically what I want. Mm -hmm. I have rules. I'm happy to hear. Can I tell you about a, a an anxious dilemma I'm having here? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Part of why I wash Toby's blanket is because when he sheds, it gets all in his blanket and it like makes him snore louder. Um, it makes mm. it harder for him to breathe. But also, the 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 sound of Toby breathing was kind of how I knew he was breathing for a while. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, <laughs> uh oh, is he gonna die? <laughs> I'm on picked up the key for three oh three mustard drive, return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May twentieth. Okay, then what? <laughs> Lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. Gotta find it, bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... It's ripped here, and I can't read the rest. Oh, gosh darn. Oh, fuck. Oh, done. I wanna... But I'm supposed to... But I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to kiss Eileen on the mouth. That's... Is that your thing? Is that Henry's thing? Well, he certainly wants to, like, do her. He is looking through the fucking hole in the wall. He's a... Every single he's a... Peeping little pervert named Tom. I think this guy should get put in a hydraulic press. Oh, he's having a little dream about eating. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I, I wake to... you up? My I that's another one of the nightmares I had was um I was trying to eat a cookie from a tin and I couldn't taste it because I was just asleep. And Aww. I woke up uh inconsolable was that the whole nightmare yeah oh that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good one it is it was it was excellent um i want to take a break from silent me. hell i want to play I a round of I solitaire oh ah, exciting to ground yourself because mm -hmm, i'm like starting to get this is my this is my anime bum girl <laughs> my bum girl from anime oh yeah hey here's that monkey the monkey's back. Oh! Silent Hill is, is not... Is, is not... I need to... I just need to pace myself with it. Stabbing things yeah. with Omori, an Omori playlist. Close. Okay. Sure. I was oh. listening to another playlist by this person today, and it was pretty soon. Pretty... Mm. Uh, good, sorry. Um... Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm very glad uh, Oh, sorry, go ahead No, go ahead Oh, I was just going to say I'm very glad that Allo, uh, my fiance, ended up Introducing me to Nomori Because it was one of those games that um, My friend had actually bought for me I think the year it came out But I just had a lot going on and I knew I wasn't going to be in a good headspace for it. And I was mm -hmm. like, I, I, like I, I could just tell, like, I was like, okay, this is going to be really important to me and it's also going to crush me. So I have to wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, um, I'm, I'm very, very happy that I did end up playing it though. Uh, yeah. I can see why it was important to her. It was really awesome for me mm -hmm. also. I, um, I played Omori at a weird point in my life where I wasn't really talking to anybody. Mm. Um, or where I, rather, I like went through a phase uh, in the middle of the game where I was just like, I don't want to talk to anyone. And no one wanted to talk to me, which is understandable. Uh -huh. um, but, well, no, I'm not. Whatever. People have lives. <laughs> it's fair. I'm not invested in the tripping your friends in, in, in industrial complex I'm really um not great at keeping up with people sometimes unless they're in my discord server because that, that basically is just how I communicate to people mm -hmm. and I oftentimes mm -hmm. forget that you're supposed to actually check up on people so that they know that you're still friends mm -hmm. and my ADHD ass uh has like fucking relationship permanence issues yeah where if i don't mm. actively 
hang out with people. Like, they're still my friend in my head. I'm like, yeah, I like them. But there's there's no accountability for, like, maintaining that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I understand, I understand that. Which is hard. I feel like I have it a little bit. Well, it's like... I would like to have that kind of permanence with people. But the best way for me to do it is... I like playing video games with my friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also like doing stuff in person. Which are both impossible when you live. Not only not near anyone, but also multiple continents away. Because your connection isn't good for video games anyway. So it's like, okay, well... You just have Absolutely. to. You're like Rock Lee with the training lights on now. <laughs> that's that's actually. I suppose that's true. I didn't think about it like this. Oh wait, what the fuck am I doing? Stupid. Sorry. Solitaire, I think. Yeah, I am doing solitaire, but I just needed to remember what my objective was in this current moment. Oh. Yeah. Um. Ignore me if this is too much, but like, actually, how do you play solitaire? No one has ever told me. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell you. Um, <laughs> hold on. Okay, basically, you, you're, hold on. Well, I'll start from, uh, we'll do two rounds, because why not? <laughs> and then I'll tell you when we start from the, just remind me, because I'll forget. But I will explain okay. it in, when we start from the beginning. This is very much a learning uh, environment kind of the solitaire gameplay well, thing. You know, I gen I'm gen 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 generally getting better at solitaire the more that I play it. Um, so maybe you know, keep your sharp tongue in your goddamn mouth, you little mouse. I didn't mean it in a mean way. I just meant it. Uh, no, I know what you meant. You meant Rachel's a little dumb dumb. She didn't know how to play solitaire, and it's like wow. you're just wrong. Can you quit putting your foul, stinky words in my mouth? Okay. Put something stinky in your mouth, you fucking nerd. God damn. A big piece okay, of cheese. Big Thank piece you. of cheese for Bells. Fucking finally, someone's brave enough to say it. Mm -hmm. uh, You're a dweeb. Stinky cheese applications. <laughs> You're the biggest dweeb in the world. Did you know that? Uh, that's not much I can do about that. Yes, yeah, I suppose not. No. Let's see here. Come on, black four. Basically, what you're doing is like lining up the cards in order. Um, mm. but there's very specific rules about how you're allowed to do it. Um. Yeah. Like, uh, it has to be the opposite. Uh color of suit for you to stack it yeah so which is why they're all alternating the main mechanic is um you put like one number on the next highest number so six would go on seven and then it unveils a card underneath the six that you just moved and so the goal is to get um get all the all the sixes in the same pile or not all the sixes all the aces um yeah. <laughs> Just all the suits organized, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. There's only three of diamonds. Oh, there it is. Shrimp is. <laughs> I am. Um, I remember watching my sister play Spider Solitaire. Fucked me up real bad. Were you? I don't understand that game at all. Terrified when the spider jumped out of the screen, or was that just me? Uh, I was a little bit, um, but I I came to my senses in due time. <laughs> the six of diamonds. There's not uh, there's not a whole lot of well, I don't know. <laughs> As soon as I said it, I was like, well, maybe I actually am the big scaredy cat. Um, because I was like, I don't know if there's. A lot of things that that bother me that much, but bugs in person. I love bugs, but I don't know. In person, they wig me out a little bit. If they're in my space where they should not be, then I'm gonna try and you know, shoot them out. Um, but oh, good God! See, this is why I'm not good as like a, a co-host because I will have a thought that will just not end up resolving itself whatsoever mm. um 
I but... have that a lot where I'm like talking and I've got like a train of thought and then it the 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 proverbial train kind of like crashes and then <laughs> the thought's gone and it's like okay well not much I can do about that I didn't know um I was terrified of the concept of like skinwalkers until I was introduced to it and uh, fucking shit I don't know why but it just like as a concept is so upsetting to me what's that they are frightening little fucks mm -hmm. like one time um I was scrolling through TikTok, which unfortunately I am addicted to, and uh, there was one night where I, w I was smoking, and um, I was just kind of uh, looking at You stuff. smoked weed and watched scary videos like I a dumb dumb. I did, I was just scrolling through TikTok, it's normally just like funny animal videos and stuff, and then it introduced me to the concept of not deer, which I don't know if y'all have heard of that, oh. but it's basically... It's 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 like skinwalker type shit, but it was just originated on TikTok, I think. Yeah. Is it an SCP thing? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about it. It's basically like if you see a deer, but they look not quite right, or like their limbs are bent in angles they shouldn't be, or things like that, or they look like way too big. Oh, I'm seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The deer are also just alarmingly large sometimes. Deer. I guess for me it was like the concept of something as like passive as a deer uh or at yeah. least our understanding of them being a spooky scary creature it just it just shook me to my core well, I mean, I all kinds that. of characters are very scary i'm quite scary mm -hmm. to be honest with you i'm imagining you as the little ferris and you're just sitting there and you're like i'm very scary I, you know what i scare <laughs> a lot of smaller animals i can i can be scary see look at this boop Oh, see? You didn't. It I didn't happen. You. It's not the same as when I do it, Claire. Alright, do it. No. I don't want to scare you. You're like a little mouse, and like that would be like so cruel. I bet it's because you can't do it. Wow. Yeah, maybe. You know what? I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I, 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 I took Scott Graham's classes for kids. Uh, <laughs> classes for troubled kids, and I know that accepting dares is uh, actually dumb, stupid. Mm. It's not a dare, I just don't think that you could. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. This is not really any of your business even really. <laughs> you're 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 giving you're giving me the work. You're giving trying out all these lines. You're like a you're like a <laughs> cigarette smoking demon in a movie, aren't you, you little bumpkin? <laughs> I'm just enjoying myself, I don't know. You want me to start smoking cigarettes, but you're afraid to admit it. Because you're, you well, you're not afraid to admit it. You're trying to be like a sly and coy guy, who uh, <laughs> gives you know gives me gives me the business, such as the the pusher might to, in uh, own high. I used to have on my drive on my computer. Uh, I don't have these anymore. Uh, pictures of Princess Celestia from My Little Pony, mm -hmm. uh, smoking a blunt. And with a big, with the big like shitting eating grin, and uh, I d those pictures were drawn in an anonymous thread on the My Little Pony board on 4chan, and so I'm probably never gonna see them again. Lost the time. But uh, lost the time. Yeah. Here's the tragedy. Mind. It's very <laughs> sad. Anyways, I do think cigars are mighty cool. That's kind of where I'm at. I suppose so. I don't think I would ever smoke there. I guess I would, but not... Well, I, under the right influences, I think I could crack. You, you're you saying right now, all the time you walk up to me and you're like, wouldn't it be fuck up, fucked up if you, like, peer pressured me? And all the, it's the only <laughs> thing you say, and I'm like, what do you mean? I, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean it in, like, a, a, a goading, like, oh, try me kind of way. Claire, I just... I'll tell you what. I, I will I will roll you the biggest doink of your life, but you have to say pretty pretty please and give me a little kiss on the cheek. How about that? That's reasonable. Alright, good. I'm okay with that. Well good, I'm glad. I just think I don't know. I didn't I have a habit of just talking about things and not really thinking very hard about it. And mm -hmm. on the topic on on my mind at that point was that I'm just a very susceptible individual in general. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it in any kind of way. Well, I, I mean the... it in a kind of way, is what I'm saying. 
I'll give you- I'll, 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 I'm gonna smoke your little mouse ass out. Smoke you out of that mouse house, little you little gremlin. That wouldn't be very hard. I stand about one apple high. Yeah. <laughs> um, have either of you ever watched Peter Rabbit and Friends? No. Uh, oh the, my goodness. The, the recent one? Like, no, as no, recent no. As, like... Um, I don't remember when it came out, but I saw it when I was younger. It's incredibly comforting. Um, it's just these little bunny rabbits and, and mice and other uh, vermin-themed friends. And mm. they live either in the wild or uh, next to other humans and just have little little cozy homes. And it's, it's very nice. It's actually on YouTube for free. I'm pretty sure there's a couple episodes. Um, but I was watching it the other night just like as a means of comfort. And it's so, it's so, so, so... I don't know how to explain it. it just when you say Marvelous, maybe it. I don't know. I remember reading the books for that. Mm -hmm. And I liked those a lot. I might still have some around. But those made me very, very happy. Peter Rabbit. I'm interested to see. One thing that was nice about it too is um, the way they had formatted the series was uh, there was this artist who she would paint and she would receive letters from like children and stuff, and they mm -hmm. would tell her situations that they needed advice on, and so she would she would spin a little yarn, but she would make the the situation about the little creatures, and it was very I like quaint. That. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It would be raining at the beginning of every episode, and she would be painting on the countryside with her dog, and uh, the kids would start running inside, and so she would walk over to her little house. I, 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 I'm a cottage court whore. I don't. I care at this point. I love that shit, but I, I don't think I could ever maintain that lifestyle. <laughs> I respect that. Oh goodness. It was actually really helpful while I was watching it because um, my fiance wanted to change her fursona from a deer into uh, a jackalope. Let's see. Hmm. Bobby. Wait, no. Not a jackalope. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 a jackalope, okay. I thought I was misremembering. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of having this realization, I think, that uh, I was not, there's not, uh, there isn't a corduroy cartoon, mm. there's a, there's, it's a, it was just apparently like a storybook that I was so enraptured by that I, I remembered fondly. <laughs> I used to have a little uh, corduroy plushie, and I'm so sad because my main memory of him is I got sick one day when I was a kid, and I guess my mom didn't know how to wash it or whatever, and uh, ended up getting rid of it, and it made me so sad. That's so sad. Corduroy was a bear who lived in a big department store. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this gonna be illustrated? Yes! Okay. Alright, this is what. Do we... Alright, alright, alright. Hell yeah. I'm gonna read Corduroy the Bear and then we're gonna. Uh, and then we're gonna go on break. Uh, but I know the perfect music. Uh, what's the fucking. No, 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 no. Uh, do, 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 boom, 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 boom. Here we go. All right. Okay. 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 Is the music too loud? Let me see. Hello, my name is Rachel Vermington, and welcome to Books on Tape. No, it seems okay. All right. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Claire, would you like to do? Would would, would well, Claire and mm -hmm. Wires, would you like to do voices for Corduroy the Bear? Sure. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm not, I'm not very good at that. That's I'm okay. Not, I might sit and listen. Okay. Uh, why is, I guess, is there ever anything in quotes in this? Mm, I don't know. 
if, it's been oh, a while. okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. When there's stuff in quotes, you can read the stuff in quotes and I'll do the narration. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> this is lovely. Uh, yes, absolutely. But the first thing I see is, is Mommy Beat. So, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll share with you as well. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Heat from fire, fire from heat. Get your fucking clipping fingers ready, because this one's not going on the VODs channel. This is way too little bait for my fucking stream. Anyway. <laughs> this is Corduroy by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers, buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Bulls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy. She said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear. Her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost a button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf <laughs> and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he'd stepped on it onto an escalator, and up he went. Silly bear. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs, and lamps and sofas, and rows and rows and rows of beds. It must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around, admiring the furniture. And this must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto the large, thick mattress. All at once, oh man, the music stopped. Why? So sad. Omori, please. <laughs> You're breaking my heart, little man.